As we all adjust to life amid the coronavirus, an epidemic of Asian hate crimes are on the rise. Social media groups, elected officials, and now the FBI are recognizing the increase in hate crimes and are fighting back against the xenophobia. Hip-hop artists, Year of the Ox, were exposed to xenophobia while recording a music video for their recent release, Viral, a song about the rise in hate crimes being perpetrated against Asians. As soon as we wrapped up that video while we were walking out of that Rite Aid, some guy just made these, you know, coughing and sneezing noises pointing at us and ridiculing us that this shit's real. You know, if it's happening to us, just imagine, you know, just all around the world, you know? As this biological threat looms over us, my feeds are becoming infected with hate. The xenophobia town hall I was just in was zoom bombed by hate speech. This is part of that much larger history of racism. We are part of that story too. After all these years, after all the, all the we think progress that we've made through the decades, where did it go? Where did it go? The FBI says to expect a surge in hate crimes. A family in Texas who are refugees from Burma, they were attacked for being perceived as Chinese and the assailant said the coronavirus happens because of you and slashed them in the head. You know, it's a sad time when that first line about telling our parents to be careful is a reality. When we came up with the idea to make this song, it wasn't, it wasn't as crazy as it is now even. It, it got, I would say it got worse since we <laughs> People were to try to get into their heads. Like, why would someone get to this where they're going to perpetrate this violence or just go off the rails? I said a bar where I said paranoia and ignorance. Paranoid and ignorant is a dangerous combination. I think that's what it mostly is, is the ignorance is, is they don't really know them. I mean, there's a lot of misinformation out there. Knowing this is happening all over the place, it's it adds this nerve-wracking uh, this feeling every day, for me, to be honest with you. People are coughing at Asians and spitting at Asians all over the place pretty regularly. 60% are other Asians of different ethnicities who are being attacked. Women are three times more likely to be harassed. People have been boycotting Asian businesses. And so you're afraid that how will we survive economically? And so these stressors, I think, could be making Asian Americans more anxious, more depressed, more isolated. And so that's a heavy consequence on the community. It's particularly helpful to place what we're experiencing today within that larger historical context so that Asian Americans, especially young Asian Americans, understand this has very little to do with them. You know, they did nothing wrong. It has a long history um, that predated us um, but there's also a really long history of Asian Americans responding to racism. What do you think of the social media campaigns and the trackers out there? Th those are, I've already talked to Russell Jung and I, I know it's good to institutionally track this yeah. data because then it could be forwarded and it could affect policy. Before organized community responses like what Russell is doing, um, the, the social media posts that have gone viral have been incredibly important because they have alerted all of us who may not see it, you know, in our daily lives. Oh, this is going on. Oh, this is going on a lot. Oh, it's not only, you know, in New York City or in LA. Oh, great. There is a family that was, you know, attacked in Texas. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's national. It's also happening within our own, you know, communities too. Um, that's another another <laughs> you know issue. I had that conversation with my mom yesterday. She she was blaming Chinese people. But why is the president saying this? Why is why yeah. are the women saying this? Why right. is my my media that I'm reading say that it's from China? What the president's we'll statement and many Oregon others in his administration Chinese calling virus. it the the Chinese virus. What that does is inflame, it adds this, the, a culture war element to the war against um, the pandemic. There's a resolution now um, saying that the government and officials need to stop their anti-Asian rhetoric. And so maybe he's been chastened. But I think it's a little too little too late. He tweeted out, oh, Asian Americans are a, an amazing people. 
and we're working with them and they're working with us. And even at complimented Asian Americans and say we're deserving of protection, he still used the us versus them dichotomy. It's still, again, that outsider framework. But Asians are outsiders to the U.S. and we're working with them. It's they, they, us, and they. You know, it's like them. The other, other. We be, we've become the other, other. We're Americans, man. So all of a sudden, oh, they're really good. They really, it's, even even when you try to say something good, it's all kind of like, like this dividing, you know, the country. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's everybody around that's their fault, not me. Oh, no, no, it can't be me, right? I'm perfect. Asians of all ethnicities are rallying together to fight xenophobia by bringing the conversation to something that threatens us all, regardless of ethnicity. I think what's going to happen is we have more stay in place um, policies and as people adhere to it more once it surges, I think our actual, the incidences are going to go down, but the hatred is going to increase as deaths mount. So I don't know what people will do with that anger and fear in that case. Um, and so I, I just want to warn people, um, it might get worse. And I hope that people won't take it out on Asian Americans, but instead um, use that energy to work together um, to fight the disease rather than the people. Asian Americans need to report their incidents. They may think, oh, this is just an isolated incident. They may brush it off. A lot of times um, Asian Americans try to deny that other people perceive them badly. And so you don't want to acknowledge the problem. But what they need to do is report it at our stop AAPI hate center, because what happens then is once we get it documented, we could see, no, it's not an isolated incident, but this is a pervasive community issue that needs to be addressed, not just by Asians, but by the entire community and the entire society. What's the end game? What do we support? What, what's the reason? What do we want, want out of it, right? If you say by you yelling at me, screaming at me, saying I'm at fault and that get, gets rid of the virus. Hey, I, I'm all to myself. Go ahead. But that ain't the case. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 